and pneumonia can lead to their death and your license. Yeah. So. Precious, I'm a full-time nurse. There's no way I'm gonna be able to post 12 times in one month. If you wanted to, you would. How are you gonna be the next big thing if you don't post consistently? Um, we, we could, could help. help. Not now, you guys. Whatever. The next big thing. Me, the next big thing. Hey guys, it's your girl Osa, aka O'Donuts. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My content ranges from nursing, hair videos, and vlogs of my everyday crazy life. In today's vlog, follow me along my life as a full-time nurse and part-time content creator. Your girl is actually sick while recording this voiceover. So let's cut the chit-chat and get straight into the vlog. Okay. Have a surface relationship with God. And what do I mean by that? Your relationship with God is shaped by your comfort and routine. Hey. There are things you do that check off the box of relationship with God. Right? Go to church, which is beautiful. We here now. Right. I have Bible study. Amazing. I have a Bible plan. I'm studying. Beautiful. But all of it is shaped around self. God, what can you do for me? God, what is the industry you've called me into so that I can shine? Not even about your glory shine. How can I face myself? I've been Hello, hey vlog, how are you? Mm, I think it's a little too bright, so we gonna turn this off. Hi, my name is Osa. First of all, mwah, mwah, mwah. Hi, my name is Osa, aka O Donuts, and if you're new to my channel, welcome! And if you're not new to my channel, hey family, what's going on? My content ranges from nursing, hair videos, and vlogs of my everyday crazy life. So, Cha cha cha, let's get into this vlog. Today is Tuesday, December 12th, and it is 12.25 in the morning. You guys are probably like, Osa, what are you doing awake? But if you know my routine, you shouldn't be asking me, what am I doing awake? I'm awake because that means I work tomorrow. I think we've established that I stay up the night before so that I can sleep in the day of. Your girl is officially a night shift girly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Oh. My wig is itching. Your girl is up right now because I have work tomorrow. And number two, because I had a brand deal to film. This wig is from Ellie Pearl Hair. You can call me later. Pearl Hair, what's that? Ellie Pearl Kinky Curly HD Lace in 16 inches. This bad boy is glueless. I'm not gonna pluck this hairline. Let's see if it's gonna be giving glueless vibes. Can I play my lady pop music for y'all? Next. 
down in the description this is what the wig is giving you guys i feel like it's giving like a sexy dora ow, ow, ow. sexy uh, like a sexy version oh my gosh i look so pretty maybe i should take my content photos now uh having to take thumbnail pictures is like it's just like you don't get a break y'all i don't want to take thumbnail pictures i just want to relax and earlier today as you guys saw i went to the gym because i don't know i was feeling a little under the weather i just wasn't feeling productive and i was feeling under the weather and me like i know myself i like to feel productive i like to feel like i'm getting what needs to be done done i was just like i'm I just wasn't, I just wasn't myself. There we go. When you look good, you also feel good. And I probably just needed to like, probably just needed to get myself together. Do you guys want to come with me to 7-Eleven to get a Celsius? Okay, so tonight's plan is we are going to stay up tonight to get our Vlogmas video done. I'm going to edit the video that I filmed for this brand deal so that I can hurry up and get that to the company. They have been DMing me nonstop like, where's the video? Where's the video? Where's the video? We sent you that wig two months ago. It ain't my fault, y'all, it ain't my fault. I am a busy person for real. And number two, y'all, I have a full-time job. And I know it's only three days of the week, but y'all, it be feeling like a good five. Okay, let's be real here. Anyways, I forgot what we were talking about. Now it's already 12.55 in the morning. I get distracted like it's nobody's business. I was just scrolling on my phone. And y'all, oh my God, the bigger that I'm getting like, like on like social media, which is such a blessing, I'm so grateful to God. But the bigger I'm getting on social media, you guys, even my mom's coworkers are starting to see me. They came up to my mom like, I saw you on Instagram getting red lobsters with your daughter. Oh my goodness. It's a blessing to get big on social media, but it's not a blessing to be getting recognized. No, it is a blessing to be getting recognized, but it's not a blessing to be getting recognized by the J-O-B, the job. What's your name, B-O-B? So they calling you Bob, 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 Bob. Okay, anyways, I don't know, you guys. It's such a blessing to grow my social media family, but it's like, I also would like to just stay, like, sort of, um, stay discreet in, like, ways when it comes to the J-O-B job, y'all. Like I told y'all, I am two different Osas. I am Jake from State Farm. Can I tell you guys what was an awesome, like, really, like, cool experience? So, boom, I'm at work minding my business. I just do my job. Job, you guys and I'm pretty quiet at my job I walk into the break room there's somebody already sitting there she looks up at me she goes you don't know me but I know you and I watch all of your YouTube videos ah! when she said that I looked at her like because ah! at first I'm, I'm smiling but I'm like oh my god you know me from YouTube like you know shout out to you Jen now that's my booski like whenever I see her work it's like now we be talking and chit chatting it up the only thing I could think of y'all was that's cool as fuck sometimes like people will just stare and me i'm gonna stare back at you hard. like i don't know if somebody recognizes me or if someone's judging me you know what i'm saying so if you're just staring at me giving me a, a hard stink oh i'm sorry but i'm gonna I'm gonna give it right back to you especially if you're not smiling because i'm the type of person like if you smile at me i'm gonna smile back but if you don't smile at me i'm gonna think you're trying to be you trying to size me up who the f you trying to size up you know at my job right me and jen just started talking it up she was telling me about god i was telling her about god like we were just talking like i love interactions like that like that that just make my heart feel warm you know what i'm saying if you guys ever see me and it's like like that's osa you just say something just say hey it was just such a cool interaction and at work you guys i'm like this i'm like look around everybody on mute look around it's me and my crew da -da -da -da. I almost forgot I haven't done my segment in a while like tips with N nurse O so let me tell you some tips with nurse O we're only gonna give three tips because I have stuff to do today little disclaimer these tips are both educational and humorous make sure to always follow your facilities policies and guidelines let's get into the tips with nurse O tip number one check the vital sign charting some floors we have the luxury of our tech or our aid will take our vital signs for us. 
I am so appreciative of every aide who takes the vital signs of my patients, you know? For them to just be able to like take vital signs for you, it's a blessing, right? However, you guys, make sure to always follow up. If the tech doesn't come up to you to tell you the vital signs, make sure to do your due diligence to check the vital signs that they entered in. Not all of the aides that work in the hospital are in nursing school or not all of the aides know abnormal vital signs. I was working with an aide. She's a great aide, 10 out of 10. She entered in 185 over 99 blood pressure. 185 blood pressure. She didn't tell me. It's not her fault that she didn't tell me because as the nurse, it is your responsibility to check the vital signs that are that is entered into the computer system. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, my license. Anyways, you guys, we got the blood pressure under control, but thank God that I checked the vital sign that was entered in. Because say I didn't check it, and I allowed the ship to just finish with a 185 blood pressure. Let's, let's look at it from a lawyer's standpoint, right? That shows the lawyer that, oh, you didn't do nothing for this high ass blood pressure. You neglected your patient's blood pressure. They could have had a stroke under your care. Moral of the story, if you yourself did not take that set of vital signs and someone else took the vital signs for you, make sure to check the vital signs that was entered in the computer. And not only that, you guys, sometimes somebody can make a mistake. I remember there was one time, I took the vital signs right in front of me. 107 over something, right? Accidentally entered in 177. You are the nurse, you are the person who is responsible for this patient at this given time. It's just good practice to check what's charted on your patient. Tip number two. Now, a lot of my tips are coming from experience, you guys. If your patient came back with a rib fracture, any injury to the rib, right? Are they able to take deep breaths? You need to do a pick score on that patient. Now, some of my subscribers who are not into the healthcare field, they're like, girl, what's a pick score? A pick score is a pain, inspiration, and cough assessment. What's their pain on a scale of one to 10? Inspiration, give them an incentive spirometer. Are they above that 1000 mark, whatever? And number three, can they cough and take deep breaths? For example, after a motor vehicle accident, say the patient fractured three ribs. They fractured three of their ribs, right? If that patient isn't able to take a deep breath, what can happen? It can go into pneumonia, and pneumonia can lead to their death. And your license. Yeah. So, tip number two, if a patient came in with an injury to their rib cage, you want to do a pick assessment on them. Make sure that their pain is not affecting how they can breathe. The math is mathing, the dots are connecting. You get what I'm saying here? Tip number three, which is my favorite tip. In the case of a code or a rapid response, if you are a new grad nurse and you don't know what to do, of course y'all, I will never say as the new grad nurse, grab the recorder. Don't, I'm not saying to be the recorder. If you're six months into your job as a nurse, you could be the recorder. Don't be a scaredy cat. But if you're new, like brand spanking new, like you just, you just graduated nursing school new, one of the most smallest task, but like a huge important task, be the person to grab the glucometer. Everybody's doing crazy things. Somebody's probably doing chest compressions and you don't know what to do because you're the new grad nurse on the floor. You're scared. You don't want to overstep your boundaries. You don't want to give yourself a big girl task that's going to make you feel overwhelmed. Check the patient's blood sugar. You guys don't know how many times during a code, y'all, I'm getting the glucometer. What's the blood sugar? And you know what? I feel so confident when I'm saying the blood sugar because it's such a, it's so easy to get a blood sugar during the code. What's the blood sugar? I'm like, 141. I just did a big girl job. I was a part of the code of saving this person's life. It's like an important job that requires, that requires low maintenance if you get what i'm saying like now i'm comfortable enough to be the recorder and i just feel like grabbing a blood sugar is the easiest thing you could do without putting yourself under too much pressure as a new grad nurse don't forget the lancets and the test strips y'all tip number four because i love you guys oh so much stop underestimating the importance of intake and output how much fluid is going in should be close to the amount that's coming out. Within a 12 hour span, patient only let out 260 ml of urine. 
If you know, you know, the average person is peeing at least 30 ml an hour, right? Now, am I gonna say someone's gonna pee 30 ml every hour? No, it's gonna average to 30 ml an hour, right? At the end of 12 hours, only had 260. Now, if we do the math, 30 times 12 is 360. Output was less than 360. Now, you might think it's only 100 ml off, it shouldn't be a big deal. However, it is a big deal when this patient is receiving a 500 ml fluid bolus back to back to back. Where's the fluid going? You just received three fluid boluses and you only let out 260 ml in 12 hours. Now y'all, if you're not in nursing, what I'm basically saying is you just received a shit ton load of fluids, right? And you only let out a cup of urine. After receiving a shit ton load of fluid, you only let out a cup of urine. Where is the fluid going? Is it going into the tissue? Is it going into those third spaces? Where is the fluid? Where is the fluid going? Going to the interstitial spaces? Think about it like this. You're loading a patient up with fluid and that same fluid is not exiting the body. You are sending that patient into fluid overload and you don't even know it. So with this specific tip, I just wanna stress, make sure to know your intake and output and the intake and output should always not, it, has, it doesn't have to be 500, 500, but it should be a similar number. And if it's not matching, call the doctor up and say, hey, my patient is receiving three fluid boluses, but they only they let out only um, 260 ml in 12 hours. There's an issue here. The fluid, the fluid ain't exiting the body. Okay, you guys, that's all the tips I have for tonight. We are going to get busy editing. It's literally one o'clock in the morning, but I think I'm gonna run to 7-Eleven to grab me a Celsius, and then we are gonna get editing because I do have to post my Vlogmas series and I have to finish some real content. I will talk to you guys tomorrow as I'm getting ready for work. Bye, y'all. Another thing before I head out, y'all, I was thinking like, should I create a Finsta account? A lot of people DM me now. Like, it's not like, back in the day, like I get a little five DMs. I can't answer five DMs, but 400? I can't answer 400 DMs, like, nah, I can't. So, that way if you follow me on the Finsta, it'll be more of like a private thing for just us and like to make sure that I'm answering your questions. Like, just to make it smaller and just so it's easier and I can actually see what you guys are saying and answer the questions that you guys are asking me. Or even, you know what? Instagram has a new feature where like specific people can see certain things. I don't know if y'all ever seen it. Instagram has this new feature where like people can be added to like this private group chat like I don't know I've seen it but I don't know how that works like who am I gonna I'm gonna have to go through everybody and click on it like I'm not gonna do that so I think it would be better for me just to create a finsta account and maybe like you guys can ask me questions on there DM me on there and that way we can actually talk again okay let's go get the Celsius because it's already 1 30 in the morning <laughs> It is 2.35 in the morning. I need something to drink. I need an energy drink. Might as well get something to eat while we out here. Let's go get some food. Let's go get some food. I'm about to order. You so hungry. My window's still broken, y'all. Hi, can I get um? Do y'all got a two for three? Mm mm. But who the f is that? Uh uh. See, this is the type of. Don't pull up your car slow to me at two o'clock in the morning. Where my pepper spray at? Thank you. Yum 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 yum. Mm. Uh uh, these fries are stale. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever. Let's go home. Let's go home, y'all.
Hey guys, it is 6 o'clock in the morning and I just took my thumbnail pictures which I'm so happy because at first I was being too lazy to take them but it was like, girl, you need to take these. Just take the thumbnail pictures and call it a day. So I'm happy that I just took my thumbnail pictures. I'm almost done editing that vlog that I want to get posted so I'm just gonna really quick take off my makeup and get back to editing tonight. My schedule is so backwards, you guys, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep around 10 in the morning. For some reason, you guys, my body naturally wakes up at 2 o'clock. I want to, to, ooh, that's only four hours of sleep. Now, I'm probably gonna have to go to sleep around like 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock-ish. My skin looks so irritated while I'm removing my makeup, but I'm probably going to go to sleep around 8 o'clock in the morning, and that way I'll wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and start my day for my night shift routine. Hey y'all! I had a good day at work today. As you guys know, I'm a telemetry nurse. I had a total of six patients. My patients are all pretty ill, like very like critically ill. But I'm doing a good job, y'all. Fuck the police, that's how I treat them. We buy a way out of jail, but we can't buy freedom. We don't buy a lot of clothes, but we don't really need them. Things we buy to cover up what's inside because they made us hate ourselves, but love they well. That's why Shardy's holla where the ball is at. Old school Kanye songs were like my jam. Like all of the old, like graduation, that was my shit, y'all. That whole album, Chef's Kiss. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk to you guys much. You There's one time this homeless person was arguing with me at McDonald's, y'all. I was at McDonald's and he was like, oh, ma'am, do you have any money? And I was like, I'm so sorry if I did, I would have gave you something, but I don't have any cash. He goes, you're at McDonald's, you do. I go, I don't. He goes, you do. I go, I don't. And then he, he, he brushes me off. He's like, Psst. You asking me for money and you is not even a nice person. Person. He's trying to justify that I should have cash because I'm spending money at McDonald's like sir I swipe a card every time like talking about some you're at McDonald's. You should have some money on you. What? <laughs> sir now you're not getting you can't even get a, a you, I'm not giving you a nickel. Okay, skimpy peanut butter, but the chunky one extra crunchy It's almost like pudding. Look at this precious. That's I disgusting. That no, is disgusting. That is this. disgusting. To eat peanut butter raw is crazy. I, what do you mean raw? Have you ever cooked it? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> now you make me so angry. 